Good evening, Ravine. Hi, Jose Luis. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi, happy to see you. Hi, Daniel. How are you? Hi, Harrison. Good night. How are you? Good night. Good. Nice. Happy Friday to everyone. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. How are you? Hi, teacher. <laughs> How are I'm you? I'm fine. Happy Friday. <laughs> I feel like it, you know, when we're getting closer to vacations, it's more difficult to finish the weeks. A medida que nos acercamos a la vacación, se siente más larga la semana. We are one week away from vacations. <laughs> the, the next week, free in English. Yes, next week you're free. <laughs> next week on Friday you will be free <laughs> for one week. <laughs> creo que este, creo que terminamos. ¿Qué fecha es ese viernes? Déjenme ver. Viernes 31 justo terminamos y creo que ya lunes 3 ya es la Semana Santa, si no me equivoco. So you're going to be on vacations. <laughs> All right, so just one more week you have to survive. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, David. How are you? I'm fine. I'm home. I don't remember. I'm going to go home. On my way home. On my way home. <laughs> All right. Asegúrese de participar cuando llegue a su casita, David, okay? Okay. All right. Have a safe trip. Bye. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, David. How are so, dice Erly, voy a ser como oyente, sigo enfermo. De acuerdo, Erly. Thank you for letting me know. All right. So, we have 14 people here. Thank you, Charles. Okay. Que siga mejor. All right. So, listen, guys. We have a lot of practice to do for this week. <laughs> but before we start that section, we're going to be doing the exam. It's an exam. It's just a game, right? So, you can test your knowledge. Vamos a hacer el jueguito de Kahoot para que podamos refrescar la memoria, right? Vamos a medirnos. Este es como para medirnos nosotros. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Qué tanto me acuerdo? ¿Qué tanto ya me puedo esto, right? So that's what we're going to be doing. Les voy a compartir la pantalla. Give me one moment. We're going to load this. All right. Okay. I'm gonna share the screen so you can in, you can get in the game. All right. Recuerden siempre irse al link que está en pantalla www.kahoot.it. Cuando entren a ese link, les va a pedir el pin del juego para que ustedes puedan ingresar. Y ya ponen su nombre con el que van a participar, su nombre de jugador. O le pueden solo escanear aquí el código QR y les va a llevar al mismo link de Kahoot.it. Okay. Voy a dar tiempo para que ingresen. También les mandé el link por el grupo de WhatsApp, por si les sale mejor también. Let's see, we have, we have eight people connected. Tenemos ocho personas conectadas, vamos a ver. Faltan varias todavía que se conecten, vamos a darles tiempo. Recuerden ingresar al link www.kahoot.it. Una vez ahí, ingresan el link, el pin que está acá en la pantalla. O pueden ingresar escaneando el código QR. Right. 
let's see, we have 10. Jacqueline, welcome. <laughs> All right, let's see. Son las ocho y ocho, tenemos dos minutos más para que se terminen de conectar los que están ahorita entrando. Si necesita ayuda para ingresar, me dejen saber. Veamos. Sonia Martínez ya está ahí. No, todavía no está. De ahí, quiero ver. José Luis también está. Me falta por ahí que, se, que ingrese. One more minute. Tenemos un minuto más para que puedan ingresar. Si no, vamos a iniciar con los que están. All right, let's see, it's 8.10, so we're going to begin. So, no otro día, así que vamos a iniciar, okay? Remember, recuerden, en la pantalla les va a aparecer la pregunta, las cuatro opciones de respuesta, lean cada una, y en su, en su pantalla, en su celular, seleccionen la, el color que corresponde a la correcta, okay? Select the correct structure for simple present affirmative. Correct structure for simple present affirmative. Ay, Diosito, no me repasaron structures. <risa> aquí la tenemos en todo caso. Aquí mismo la repasamos de una. La estructura correcta para presente simple afirmativo es sujeto, verbo, complemento. I drink coffee every night. I live in San Salvador. You work every day. She studies English, right? Sujeto, verbo, complemento. <risa> en presente simple la estructura piensa así. Right? Very good. Vamos a ver cómo quedamos entonces. Ok. André a la cabeza. Vamos a seguir. Number two. Select the correct structure for simple present negative version. Negative. Simple present negative. Vamos mejorando, nos recuperamos. <laughs> yes. A structure for simple present negative. Subject plus auxiliary don't or doesn't. Si fuera la versión completa, do not or does not. Plus verb plus complement. Example, I don't teach German. You don't study German. We don't practice soccer, right? Very good. Vamos entonces a seguir. Number three. Vamos a ese marcador, ¿cómo va? Muy bien. Number three. Select the correct structure for present progressive affirmative. Present progressive affirmative.
We're missing one answer. Falta una respuesta más. Good. <laughs> All right. Yes, we got six people got it correct. Cinco personas no. Hmm. <laughs> de hecho, bien tricky. Es lo que les mencionaba. De ahí la importancia de aprender una estructura. Present progressive affirmative. Siempre va a llevar subject, verb to be, verb in ing. Y lo demás complemento, right? Por ejemplo, I am working. She is studying. We are practicing, right? No puede haber progresivo sin verbo to be. Hablábamos, ¿verdad? Aunque este de la par estaba bien cerca, le faltaba el verbo to be, la versión, right? Let's check the next one. Alexa, si brillan a la cabeza, muy bien. <laughs> okay. We're going with number four. Select the correct structure for present progressive negative form. the negative form of present progressive. Exit. Just a few more seconds, solo una segunda más. Very good. 11 people got it correct. 11, la agarraron bien. 11 de 12. Yes, es una estructura correcta. Subject plus verb to be plus not. She is not working. We are not paying that money. He is not living in San Salvador right now, right? Same structure, misma estructura. Lo único que ustedes hacen es que le agregan el negativo después del verbo to be para decir no es o no está pasando es, right? Perfect. Let's go with, I think it's number four. Yeah, we're going with number four. Very good job, Alexa. Select the correct structure for present progressive yes or no question. Present progressive, yes or no questions. One more answer. Let's see. Falta una respuesta. <laughs> All right. Nine people got it correct. Eso es una buena señal. Nueve personas la agarraron correcta. Nueve de doce. <laughs> yes. For yes or no questions, I will always begin with the verb to be. Right? I will always start yes or no questions with the auxiliary. Unless there is no auxiliary with the verb to be. For example, am I working from my house? Are you driving to your house? Is she parking the car? Right? Begin with the verb to be, follow with the subject and the verb in ing. Okay? Let's see how we're doing. Vamos como vamos. It's a marcador. Very good job, Alexa. Let's go with number six. Select the correct structure for present progressive information questions. Present progressive information questions. We got nine people correct. <laughs> yes. Information questions siempre van con 
una WH word. Siempre van con una palabra que pide información. Por lo general le piensan con H o WH. Where are you working? Why is she buying that dress? How are you preparing that food, right? Siempre van con una WH siguiendo la misma estructura. Verb to be, subject, ing. Y todo lo que sea, todo lo demás es complement, right? Very good. Let's go to question number six. No, number seven. Select the correct sentence. Lean las todas y seleccionen la correcta. One more answer. Let's see, we need one more. Una respuesta nos hace falta. And we, mmm, eso salió variado. <laughs> Solo dos personas agarraron la oración correcta. <laughs> right. Never. We never itch. It's vegetables. We never eat vegetables, right? That was the correct. Esa era la correcta. Okay. Next. Number eight. Seleccione la correcta. Select the correct sentence. No la incorrecta, la correcta. Select the correct sentence. Eh, Sí, one more answer, una respuesta más, nos hace falta. We're gonna give a few seconds, le damos unos segundos. Four, three, two, one. Yay, mejoramos. Six people got it correct. María isn't running in the park. No podía ser la primera porque María no es plural. No puede ser María R. No podía ser la segunda, la azul, porque tiene dos. María R es no, no puede ser. No podía ser la de abajo porque dice María is run. Tendría que ser running, right? Entonces, me queda María isn't running in the park. That is the correct sentence. Very good. Veamos este marcador. Sonia Martínez, very good. Y vamos a continuación con la última pregunta ya del cajón. Select the correct sentence. Select the correct sentence. Just a few more seconds. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Es que estamos muy bien esa estructura. The kids are, play, are playing soccer tomorrow. Ok. No podía ser la azul porque dice the kids are playing. Falta el ING. 
voy a hacer la verde porque dice the kids playing, falta el verbo to be. Y definitivamente esto no podía ser porque no lleva ningún verbo. Right? The kids soccer tomorrow no lleva ningún verbo. Así que tiene que ser the kids are playing soccer tomorrow. Lleva todas las partes de una estructura, sí. Sujeto, verbo to be, verbo con ing, complement, time expression en futuro, right? So very good job. Let's see who, who got it. Bermin in the third place, very good. Alexa Cibrián, number two. Vamos a ver. Very good job, Sonia. <laughs> Se recuperaron, quedaron bastante cerca. Very good. Y desde así que había un par de finalistas. Oh, but we didn't see them. <laughs> All right. So that's going to be it for this one. Now, ya si hablamos a conciencia, ¿cómo se sintieron cuando estaban viendo las preguntas de estructuras? ¿Cómo se sintieron personalmente? Mm, esto sí me lo puedo, esto no me lo puedo, más o menos. What, what did you think? ¿Qué pensaron? Cuéntenme. Hubiera estudiado. <risa> Let's see. Opinions. Sienten que les sirve para refrescar la memoria de este jueguito. O no, para nada. <risa> Necesito oír sus opiniones. Sí. All right. Thank you. Sí. Me fui. <ríe> me fui de acá, pero regresé. <ríe> All right. ¿Sí me escuchan? Sí. Yes, yes, All yes. Right. Perfect. Very good. Ok. Antes de seguir con las prácticas, vamos a pasarles asistencia. Please be ready when I call your name. Tenemos, ¿qué día es ahora? Viernes 24. Alexa, Marcela, Cibrián. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Luisa, Espinosa, Pérez. Andre Pardo Camacho. Present teacher. Thank you. Belvin Noé Palacios. Present teacher. Thank you. David Inocente Munguía. Present teacher. Thank you. Eraibin Neftalí Medina. Present teacher. Thank you. Erlin Melquisede. I'm here teacher. Thank you. Gerson Ezequiel Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Henry Omar Alberto. Jacqueline Yvonne Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Jessica Cecilia Linares. José Daniel Castro. Present. Thank you. José Luis Torres. Juan Carlos Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenia Maricela Aparicio. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Humberto González. Moisés Ernesto Figueroa. Nancy Katia María. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Oscar Giovanni Mengiva. Pedro Rigoberto Ramírez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Sonia Maribel Martínez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Belmín Cristian García. Present teacher. Thank you. David Emanuel Ardón Ponce. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. Teacher, Solo para... ya me conecté. ¿Quién? Ana Espinos. Ana, thank you. Ahorita ya se me hacía raro antes. No me dijo present. <laughs> thank you. Okay. So, we're going to go to the students, mano. Le voy a mostrar ahorita la pantalla. Perdón, teacher, este, no pude contestar antes, José Luis Torres. Ok, sí. ya le puse la asistencia, José Luis, thank you. <laughs> All right, very good. Now, we're going to check the student's manual, and we have this part. Complete the sentences in present continuous. Okay, acá nos da el verbo que vamos a utilizar. Obviamente aquí está en su forma base, no tiene el verbo to be, no tiene nada. Ustedes lo van a completar. Tenemos la 1. Dice Thomas, print out the contract. Ah, me falta el verbo to be para Thomas y me falta el ING. Thomas is printing out 
the contract. Number two, Cheryl. ¿Cómo sería esta? He's meeting. That is correct. Cheryl is He's meeting with the, with boss, the boss right, right now. now. ¿Ya dónde está mi amiga Cheryl? She's meeting with the boss right now. Number three, he take care of everything. ¿Cómo la armaríamos? ¿Cuál es el verbo tuyo para he? Is. That is correct. He is taking care of everything. Yes, Ana. Thank you. Thank you, Juan. Él se está encargando de todo. He's taking care of everything. Very good. Number four. I. Attention to the instructions. Uh -huh. um, I am paying attention to the instruction. Exactly, I am paying attention, right? No me hablen, I am paying attention to the instructions, right? Number five, she prepared the briefing. She prepared the briefing. She's preparing. <laughs> she's preparing the briefing. She's preparing the briefing. That is correct. She's preparing the briefing. <laughs> Ok, briefing. So, briefing se le llama a las instrucciones o al resumen de una reunión. <ríe> right. Teníamos a un alumno extra por ahí. Number six. They send... Uh -huh. <ríe> uh, they send the products to the warehouse. They are sending the product of the warehouse. That is correct. They are sending the product to the warehouse. Very good. Next exercise. So we're going to go to page 33. And we're talking about activities happening nowadays, right? What activities taking place these days? And we have a conversation. We need a person to be Rose and we need a person to be Mary. Vamos una persona para leer Rose y una persona para leer Mary. La conversación que está acá, tal cual. Okay. Thank you. Vamos a analizar. Rose. Y André nos ayuda leyendo Mary en la primera ronda, por favor. En la siguiente, los demás levanten la mano y dejen ahí para asignarlo. Ana. Ok, hello Mary. What are some activities you are, you are doing this week? Hi Rose. Well, there are many things I'm doing this week. For example, I am singing some payrolls on Tuesday. And sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I am talking to Colin and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advance in the company? Peter is. Very good. Thank you. All right. Vamos with round number two. Alexa nos ayuda a leyendo Rose. Please, y Belmin nos ayuda leyendo Mary, por favor. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am seeing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday and you. That's okay. I am talking to col colleagues and checking reports. And who is, an, uh, and who is analyzing the advance in the company? Here it is. Perfect. Great Good job. Thank you to the ones who cooperated with the reading. Okay. So. Tenemos acá la pregunta. What are some activities Mary is doing this week? What are some activities that Mary is doing this week? She is. Analysis of funds. Mm -hmm. And she's singing some payroll. All right, she's signing some payroll. On Tuesday. Uh-huh. Very good, Alexa, thank you. 
¿Qué otro? What else is she doing? ¿Qué más está haciendo? Yes, she's sending emails on Wednesday as well, right? So, in this case, I want you to take note. Tomen nota que en esta conversación están usando la misma estructura, presente progresivo, pero están hablando de cosas diferentes. No están hablando totalmente a futuro, están hablando de cosas o actividades que se están llevando a cabo en estos días, en esta semana, digamos, right? Um, y, lo, y presente progresivo para cosas que pasan ahora, en el momento. Le dice a ella, for example, on Tuesday, ¿verdad? Ella, she's signing the payrolls. On Wednesday, she's sending emails. Esas están en futuro. Pero acá le dice, I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. ¿Ok? Y Mary le pregunta, ¿y quién está analizando los avances? Who's analyzing the advances? Estas últimas son presente progresivo tal cual. Hablando de cosas que están pasando en este momento. Right? So we're going to do something similar. We're going to go to the breakout rooms. Vamos a entrar a las salas y vamos a hacer una conversación parecida usando presente progresivo para hablar de cosas que están sucediendo temporalmente esta semana. O sea, que esta semana ustedes están haciendo, esta semana llega hasta el domingo, así que estamos todavía acá en the same week, right? For example, si a mí me preguntan, Miss, what are you doing this week? Ah, this, bueno, vamos a dejarlo this weekend. Vamos a dejarlo this weekend porque ya vamos al fin. Ok. Ok, let me think. On Saturday, tomorrow, I am waking up very late because I am sleeping all the time that I have not slept in the week. <laughs> so tomorrow I'm waking up really late. Yo a las 5 a.m. ya despierto. <laughs> And then I am not cooking breakfast tomorrow because Again, I am sleeping until very late. So I am not cooking breakfast in the morning. At night, I'm visiting my friends and we're having a party because we're close to vacation. Then on Sunday, on Sunday, I'm visiting my family and probably we are eating grilled meat. Okay? El domingo voy a visitar a mi familia y probablemente hagamos carnita asada, right? So what activities are you doing during the weekend? Okay, que sean temporales, que vayan a comenzar y terminar during the weekend. Okay, what type of activities are you doing? Make sure that it becomes a conversation, right? Aseguremonos que sea conversación, no solo pregunte respuesta cerrada. ¿De acuerdo? We're going to go to the breakout rooms. We're going to have 10 minutes for this one. Vamos a tener 10 minutos para esto. Las salas están abiertas a partir de este momento. Recuerden que estamos hablando de actividades que estamos haciendo este fin de semana. ¿Qué cosas vamos a hacer o no vamos a hacer el fin de semana? Pueden ingresar a la sala. And you have 10 minutes.
I feel a little tired. <laughs> Ten minutos. <laughs> All right, let me check with the others. Chequemos todos entonces. ¿Logramos terminar ¿sí? o necesitamos más tiempo todos? More time. Nine minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes is just yet. Diez minutos, tómelo, déjelo. All right, you're going to have ten minutes. ¿Tienen diez minutos más? Pueden ingresar a las salas ahora. Hola, teacher, no va a dar más tiempo. Yes, Pedro. <ríe> ya están en la sala sus compañeros. Es que lo que pasa es que creo que mi internet es lento y me cuesta pasarme. <ríe> Vaya, lo voy a mover a una sala ahorita, pero no vaya a aceptar todavía, Pedro. Ya le voy a avisar. Vaya, okay. ok. Permítame. Uy, ¿a dónde lo puse? <ríe> ¿Con quién estaba usted? Con... En, el, en la 3 estaba. Ah, ok. Vale. Entonces ahorita. Ahora Pedro ya puede ingresar.
Already, we're gonna start. You know, hear room number one right now. Vamos a escuchar a la sala uno. We're going to hear Alexa Surian and Andre Pardo, please. Los escuchamos. Andre. No sé si ya regreso de la sala, ticha. Mm, sí, ya me aparece acá. André, ¿está por ahí? Aquí estoy. All right. <ríe> Puedes <ríe> iniciar entonces, nos escuchamos. Ok, siéntate. Siéntate al agua. Eh, ¿Alexa está por ahí? Yes. Ok, hi Alexa. Hi André. Eh, how was your day, Alexa? It's very tired. Yeah, why, I'm happy. Why you're very tired? Huh? Eh, this week I have had many activities. What are the activities for weekend? Uh, this weekend I am getting up early tomorrow uh, because I am taking my children to English class. And I am sleepy late on Sunday. And you, Andre, uh, what did you this weekend? Tomorrow I get up at 10 a.m., but I wake up at 6 a.m. approximately. I hope I'm um, going to swimming at the midday, at the afternoon, I'm going to rest in my bed. And Sunday, I'm going to work. Oh, good, Andrew. Uh, happy weekend and rest you. Uh, happy weekend for you, Alexa. Goodbye. Thank you, Andrew. Bye. Hasta luego, teacher. All right. Thank you. Number one, that was a very fluent conversation. I noticed you were using future with going to. Y quiero felicitarlos porque se trata de eso. Yo les dije que tenía que hacer la conversación presente progresivo a futuro y para acciones temporales. Pero también ocuparon ustedes simple future with going to. Que es uno de los cuatro escenarios de los cuatro tiempos que vimos para hablar en futuro, right? So very good job, guys. Muy buen trabajo, Sala 1. Los felicito. We're going to hear room Thank number you. two right now. Thank you. All right. Vamos a escuchar a Ana Luisa Espinosa y a Daniel Castro, por favor. Ok. okay. Hello, Ana. What are some activities you are doing this weekend? Hi, Daniel. I will shopping at the supermarket in the morning on Saturday, and then I go to have breakfast with my family. And you? In my case, I will have to go to the supermarket at night because I work all day. And then I'm going to have dinner with my family. Also, it depends on when I leave the supermarket. And what will you do on Sunday, Anna? On Sunday, I will be at church at 9 a.m. Um, June? I am going to a soccer game at 9 a.m. It's actually the final match. And in afternoon, what are you doing, Anna? I will go to Multiplaza with my friends, and and I will have pupusas for dinner and sleeping. And you? I'm going to spend time with my family. Maybe we'll go to Balboa Park for some cheats. Hot night weekend, Anna. Okay, Daniel. Uh, thank you. Goodbye. Nice job. <laughs> thank you, room number two. También felicitarlo porque también estuvieron incorporando simple future using will, right? Que es justo lo que les decía. De eso se trata de que ustedes conozcan todas las estructuras y ocupen la que se les venga en el momento a la mente para hablar en simple future, right? 
la idea, lo más importante es que la, sin importar cuál deciden usar, es que la ocupen con la estructura tal cual y ustedes lo hicieron. Así que muy buen trabajo. Thank you, room number two. Vamos a usar la sala número tres, a usar, a escuchar. <risa> vamos a escuchar a la sala número no, no, vamos a usar, disculpe, joven. Vamos a escuchar a la sala número tres. Tenemos a Gerson Ezequiel, José Luis Torres y Pedro Salazar. Ok. Hi, Gerson. Hi, Pedro. Why are you going to work this weekend? Hi, José. Hello, Pedro. I we work uh, on Saturday um, and I will play every important game on Sunday. What about you, Pedro? Hi, Herson. There are many things important. For example, I play in basketball with my friends on Saturday in the morning. And in the afternoon, I visiting my mother. And what will you do Sunday, Pedro? In Sunday, I will be watching a football game in the morning of my favorite teams. In the afternoon, I helping my daughter with her homework. Oh, excellent. Hey boys, which football teams was buying from the Premier League? My favorite team football of Premier League is Manchester City. My favorite Premier League team is Manchester United. Oh, great. They are bond every good teams. Finish. Finish. <laughs> I want to congratulate you guys because that conversation not only was fluent, it was about topics that everybody can relate to, right? Conversación bastante fluida, temas que todos se pueden relacionar, and you use the different versions of simple future. Ocuparon las diferentes versiones de simple future. So very good. Thank you. A continuación, vamos a escuchar a la sala cuatro. Tenemos a Juan Fuentes y a Sonia Martínez. Los escuchamos, por favor. Let's begin. Uh, good evening, Sonia. Uh, how are you? How do you feel today? Hello, good evening, JC. I'm not too bad. How about you? Well, thanks. Uh, and I really good effort. Our day uh, of hard work, nice to see you. Um, what are you doing this weekend, Sonja? Oh, let me see. The first thing I am doing on Saturday is going to work because I have many activities in my job. Then I'm studying in the university classes in afternoon. What are you doing on Saturday, Stacy? Well, Good that you ask. Uh, since tomorrow, I had to work all day until six in the morning. Uh, since my work is like that, you can leave the job alone. And uh, now, what will you be doing on Sunday? Do you have uh, plans, Sonja? Yes, yes. Actually, I'm visiting my father and I'm eating lunch with him on Sunday. I also need to sleep early because I'm, I'm going to get up early on Monday. And what about you? What are you doing on, on Sunday, JC? On Sunday, I hope to get up late. I don't think so. I don't think um, I do the laundry until Monday morning. Since I had to rest because I be showing up for work or night and part of Sunday morning. And Sonia, uh, are, 
uh, on Sunday morning. Are you resting yes. on Sunday? Yes, I am. And happy to reuse. See you Monday. Take care. See you later, Daisy. Good night. Good night. That's all. <laughs> nice job. I think, creo que esta es la conversación más larga que he escuchado hasta ahorita. Felicitarlo porque el fluency está on point. You were using the grammar también. Ocuparon las diferentes versiones de future, no solo present progressive for future, but going to will and the WH questions um, in simple future, right? So very good job, room number, number four, Juan and Sonia. Vamos a continuación a escuchar room number five. Tenemos a um, Jacqueline Yvonne Ayala y a Nancy Katia María. Los escuchamos, ladies. ¿Qué dice Jacqueline? Usted no? dice. <laughs> ah, lo siento. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, Jacqueline. How are you? Hello, Nancy. I'm very good. And you? I'm fine. Thank you. What are you doing this weekend? Tomorrow I am working from 8 a.m. and 20 p.m. Because I have a swimming report by Monday. Uh, Sunday I <laughs> get cook like um, you what are you doing this weekend? Mm, tomorrow I will grab early at 6 a.m. Because my son is having English class at eight o'clock at university. Then we are going to visit my mom and we are eating the lunch at 1 p.m. o'clock. Oh, that's good. Why did you do it on Sunday? Mm, I am going. I am going to visit to my best friend on Sunday. In the afternoon, I am sleeping. My too. I see you offer that. I am going to supermarket. Okay. I see you other day. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Finally. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies, room number five, Jacqueline and Nancy. Very fluent, also a lot of confidence. Usaron las diferentes versiones de Simple Future. And it was very conversational. Nancy, Jacqueline, muy buen trabajo. Thank you. Let's see room number six right now. Tenemos a David Emanuel Ponce y a Belmín García. Los escuchamos, por favor. Thank you, okay. David. Hi, Belvin. How are you today? Hi, David. I'm fine. Very happy because the weekend is coming. It's true. Thanks for God. What are you doing this Saturday? Uh, the Saturday, um, I am painting the house. It's all. Uh, it will be a hard Saturday. And you? I am in the morning. I go to the work. And the afternoon, say shopping. And you the Sunday? Uh, the Sunday in the morning, I'm going to the play soccer. I'm going to win the final at uh, Daniel Castro. In the afternoon, while I go with my family at Mango Festival. And you, David? All Sunday with my family. In the morning, we will go to visit some friends. We will cook food and turkey for a week. In the afternoon, we will go to community celebration. Okay, David. Enjoy your activities. Thanks, Belmin. Have a great time with your family too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hey, nice job with that conversation. It was very fluent. You were using as más que todo estaban ocupando present progressive for future, pero escuché varias también using will. So very good job of adapting different versions, right? Um, important part. Confidence. La confianza que mostramos cuando vamos empezando a hablar inglés. Hace tres semanas a la confianza que la mayoría de ustedes están demostrando ahorita cuando están comunicándose. Es so, un muy buen trabajo, everyone. Good, good. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna share with you guys, the students, Mama, and we have this other activity. It's kind of different, actually, this one. It says, schedule events at the workplace. You're going to read the article about activities to keep employees happy. We're going to discuss if the sentences below are true or false, right? Cada uno, que cada párrafo tiene su información, pero al final vamos a contestar true or false según la información de cada uno de ellos, okay? So I'm gonna need four volunteers. Voy a ocupar cuatro voluntarios para leer esos párrafos. Cada uno va a leer uno de los que están acá, okay? So... Acuérdense, el tema es how to keep, ah, no, activities to keep employees happy. Cada párrafo da ideas, how to keep employees happy, right? Somos cuatro voluntarios, levantemos las manitas. Jacqueline, usted nos ayuda con la número uno, por favor, organize yoga classes. Alexa, nos ayuda con la número dos, celebrate birthdays, por favor. José Luis con la número tres, paintball. And André Pardo con la número cuatro, guess Okay, let's begin, Jacqueline. Hola, mis estudios de clase. Is work young of young job employees are testing on computer every day don't under, understand, understand. Underestimate. On, underestimate. Mm -hmm. The impact yoga call how our day active our outlook outgrow yoga can help alleviate stress uh, can me relax tension improve brain function and lift mood one box word i one box also Thank you. Number two. Celebrate with builders. You don't just have to rely on business games to boost moral. A simple, is, I don't know how to say it. Acknowledging. Acknowledging. Acknowledging special occasions uh, can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sign a card, have cake once a month, or simple buy them a round of coffees each time some somewhere in your team has a beer day. Thank you, number three. Okay. To give your employers an opportunity to leave up some steep by organizing a day of favor. Simply girl getting up of the office can do work further for step moral. Watch how those has the boss. You are going to be a premier target. Thank you. Number four, Andre. Okay. Guess who? Ask everyone to bring to a childhood photo and themselves and put them all up on board. And I get every, everyone to put their best guess forward on each one. It's a bit of easy. Like heard and that will defi definitely help Live a spirit while offering plenty of homework along the way. Very good. Thank you. Okay, so those are the four ways, ideas, activities to keep employees happy. Actividades para mantener a los empleados feliz. Okay, number one. Yoga has an important effect on employees. True or false? True. Yes, that is correct. Number two. Yoga releases tension, but it doesn't calm the mind. True or false? False. Yes, it does calm the mind, actually. Again, then we're going to go with number three. Based on the reading, special occasions are not important. 
true or false? Based on the reading, special locations are not important. True or false? False. Yes, that is false. They are important. Number five. Number four. Workers can play paintball inside of the office. True or false? False. <laughs> Definitely false, right? Number five. Childhood photos can offend employees. True or false? Childhood photos can offend employees. True or false? Keep in it. Por acá está la respuesta. Creo que false. Exactly, that is correct. It is false, right? Todo lo contrario sería ahí. Okay. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Van, piensen en esta actividad. Ustedes van a entrar a las salas y van a hacer algo parecido. Van a plantear un problema. Un problema que esté pasando en, en, su, en su compañía, en la empresa. En este caso decía, activities to keep employees happy. Los empleados están bien enojados. Entonces hay que hacer actividades. ¿Qué podemos hacer para hacerlos felices? Y pusieron estos cuatro partes, ¿no? Ustedes van a hacer lo mismo, pero para otro, otras condiciones. Por ejemplo, ¿qué problema hay en la compañía? Mm, que no hay cafetería. Ok. Ustedes van a escribir solamente uno o dos párrafos, no cuatro. Uno o dos párrafos donde ustedes presenten soluciones y expliquen por qué creen que esa solución que están proponiendo va a funcionar. ¿Qué tiene de bueno? ¿Qué es lo que hace? ¿Cómo va a funcionar? Right? Tal y como está acá, pero aplicado al escenario que ustedes van a escoger. ¿Cuál es el problema y cuál es? Dos párrafos como solución, como mínimo, ¿ok? Importante, asegúrense de escribirlo y presentar los dos párrafos. Van a compartir la pantalla y los vamos a ver todos. Y también van a hacer dos o tres preguntas, así como esta, de true or false, ¿ok? Relacionadas a las propuestas que ustedes van a hacer, ¿ok? So, mismo escenario de lo que acaban de hacer, solamente cambia el contexto. Va a ser aplicado a lo que ustedes hacen, a lo que ustedes van a decidir, right? So, again, we're going to go back to the main, uh, the breakout rooms. Vamos a entrar a las salas. Vamos a tener 10 minutos inicialmente. Vuelvo y repito, asegúrense de que el material lo, lo escriban todo y generen las dos o tres preguntas también al final, porque tenemos que estarlo viendo para poder, ¿ok? para poder contestar las preguntas que nos van a hacer ustedes al final, right? Vamos a recrear las salas. Give me one moment. Just a minute. And they should be open now. Están abiertas a partir de este momento. Pueden ingresar. Tenemos 10 minutos para trabajar.
Ah, okay, ya Por llegué. ejemplo, organizar yoga, eh, clases de yoga, eh, celebrar los cumpleaños, Hola, painful, y... Oh, pedí que pidieron asistencia. Eh, sí, 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 le estaba explicando el, eh, la dinámica del trabajo porque no estuvo okay. él en el... En las indicaciones. Ah, ok. Yes. Van a plantear un, uno o dos problemas que haya y ustedes van a empezar a escribir dos párrafos donde expliquen sus propuestas. Ah, podría, podemos hacer esto, esto, por, y explicar por qué lo proponen, qué, qué de bueno tiene y cómo lo va a solucionar, right? Y luego van a escribir dos o tres preguntas de cierto o falso sobre esa, esa propuesta que ustedes van a presentar. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. All right. Los veo en 10 minutos entonces. Ok. Ok.
right, we're back to the session. Let's see cómo vamos. Have we finished the activity? No, More time. No oh, okay. You, I'm gonna give you 10 minutes. Le voy a dar 10 minutos, así nos da tiempo suficiente, nos da 10 minutos extra para cuando regresemos y presenten sus, okay. sus actividades. All right. So, pueden ingresar ahora, están abiertas las apps. Hola, teacher. <ríe> Ay, Pedro, ahorita lo voy a mover a la sala 7. No voy a aceptar todavía, por favor. Okay. Eh, ahora, sí, ya puede ingresar. <ríe> vale, gracias, gracias. Bueno.
Y listo, ya se cerraron todas las salas. Denme un par de segunditos. Ya no que regresan todos. All right, we have everyone here. Let's begin. Vamos a escuchar a sala 1. Daniel Castro y Sonia Marcinas, por favor. Pueden compartir la pantalla. <laughs> Ahí se ve. Yes. yes. Ok. Ok. The problem in our company is employees don't feel care by the business clinic. And we are proposing a week of health. We propose to create a space in which visual exams can be carried out on the first day with discounts for employees who need glasses. On the second day, general health examinations can be carried out on people over 40 years of age. On the Thursday, we will have visit from dentists and a list of people we want to be checked will be made and on the fourth day, Physiotherapy is also carried out with a list and scheduled appointments that last approximately half an hour. And the first question, on the first day, physiotherapy is being proposed, true or false? Veamos las demás salas. On the first day of therapy, Physiotherapy, and on the first day, physiotherapy is being proposed. True or false? True. Mm, is that true? <laughs> no. No. It's false. It falls. Is the third day? On the first day, they say. Es la primero que nos está mencionando. Okay. Sí, está bien, ver. Visual exams. I hope it is. <laughs> second question, please. The second, uh, there is a visual campaign during Health Week. True or false? Uh, ¿Qué dicen los demás salas? There is a visual campaign during the health week. True or false? True. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. Very good job, room number one. Muy buen yes. trabajo. <laughs> Thank you. Excelente trabajo. Yeah. Vamos a escuchar a la sala dos a continuación. Tenemos a Alexa Cibrián. Y Ana Luisa Espinosa, les escuchamos, por favor. Eh, teacher, solo una cosa. A mí se me olvidó que teníamos que, que presentar ahí. Y yo estoy en el celular. No sé si Ana lo, lo va a poder presentar también. Ok. Si no lo no, decimos. Igual lo paso. tengo así en el celular. <risa> pueden Perdón. compartir la Pueden tomarle captura y compartir la imagen desde el celular. Ahí la pueden compartir en el chat, en el grupo. Uh -huh. Ah, es cierto, también. ¿La, la puedes compartir, Ana? En, eh, en WhatsApp lo puedo. Por, porque también ¿Sí? podrías, compa podrías copiarla ahí en, en el grupo. Lo y puedo si poner gusta, en yo WhatsApp. Se las, yo se las. ¿Sí? Lo puedo poner ahí en WhatsApp, Ana. Ya, ahí. All right. Perdón. No worries. Vamos. Okay. Uh, the activity breaks. Uh, in the office, many employees are suffering from a lot of stress. Uh, for that stress, the company decided to take activity breaks at different times of the day. For example, in the morning, the first activity break is made at 10.30 a.m. 
In the afternoon, the second activity break takes place at 3 uh, 15 p.m. in uh, each break. Different activities are carried out. For example, in the morning, we sing. In the afternoon, we do a three minute exercise routine. Uh, activity breaks are, are made in group of four employees, and the winner gets a prize, prize for example, a lunch. Okay, the question. Uh, the first activity break. It's a uh, an ally AM Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, the right. second question. Uh, the price is a trip. A true or false? The price is a trip. Mm, no estoy segura que se hayan hecho esa pregunta. ¿Está hablando de 3 la hora? ¿Es a 3 p.m. the price? Or... No, the, the price is a trip de viaje. Oh, a trip. Ok. A trip. Ok. What is the price? For example, ¿qué cosa? ¿Qué cosa mencionan ellas de ejemplo? Of the winner of the prize. Lo tienen literalmente en su WhatsApp, people. <laughs> Veamos. Ahí lo pusieron ellas al final en el chat, en el grupo. For example, ¿qué pueden ganar de prize? Estoy a punto de pensar que no les están poniendo atención a sus compañeras. A excepción de Juan, Juan sí. <laughs> a lunch. That is correct. Is... <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Yes. Thank you, Juan. Yes. Yes. Thank you. You could give a win a lunch. All right. We have exactly four minutes before we finish. So we have time for one more group. We're going to hear room number. Oh, no. Room number four. Tenemos a David Emanuel Ponce, José Luis Torres y Nancy Katia. Los escuchamos. Ok, denme un momento. One moment, please. Mientras comparto. All right. Hola. Mm, 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 Permítame compartir pantalla. Okay. Um, ya están viendo mi pantalla, ¿verdad? Yes, ma'am. Yes, it is. Okay, thank you. And um, our topic is toxic work environment. The activities uh, we have. Jose Luis, you. Me puedes ayudar a leer, porfa. <laughs> you can read. Oh, so, uh, okay. Get room. It's a practical uh, and metal aventuring game. They consist in to play a group uh, of workers. It's room in usage and ingeniously and observation normally for forget problems and remove stress it's necessary around uh, six uh, six minutes thank you Jose Luis um next please uh, team building each two weeks to release get together with the team's work. They can do different outings and activities, group dynamics, eat together, share gifts and other. 
Okay, thank you. Um, the primer question, la voy a hacer yo, is the true or false? The game rooms are for kids only? Room, please. You, you, can read, you, read, you, you can repeat, room. please. I can let you through. Okay, thank you. <laughs> en serio. <laughs> okay. Okay, eso fue incorrecto. <laughs> but thank you for participating. <laughs> Pues ah, eh, voy, voy a repetir otra vez la, la. The game rooms are for kids only. Los game rooms son para niños. Game rooms are for kids only. True or false? It's false. False. <laughs> okay. Good. Eh, José Luis, ¿tienes otra pregunta? Um, no, era la. Copiamos la misma. Mm. <laughs> okay. Sí. Yo All right. tengo, yo tengo la, Okay. Eh, a round of 20 minutes is necessary. Okay. Around 20 minutes are necessary. True or false? False. false. <laughs> yes. It's necessary 60 minutes. <laughs> 60 minutes. <laughs> Bien adecuado. <laughs> Una hora del día de trabajo. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. Gracias, compañero. Gracias. Finish. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. Vamos a pasar asistencia. Felicitarlos por el buen trabajo. Créanme que el avance de la mayoría de ustedes está on point. Um, digo la mayoría porque no, podido, no he podido ver el avance de muchos de ustedes esta semana porque no han estado participando por la razón que sea. Si no participan, no hay forma de medir su avance. Así que para los que sí han estado participando, bueno, desde ayer se lo vengo diciendo, tanto en tiempo de conversación, fluency, uso de la gramática, confidence, la confianza al hablar, todos van avanzando bastante bien. Así que felicitarlos, nos queda una semana más, así que reparar energías este fin de semana. Vamos con asistencia. Alexa Marcela Cibrián. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Luisa Espinosa Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrei Pardo Camacho. Present teacher. Thank you. Belvin Noé Palacios. Present teacher. Thank you. David Inocente Munguía. Eraibin Neftalí Medina. Present teacher. Thank you. Erling Melquisedec Castro. Thank you. Ya sabemos que está enfermo, Erling, no se preocupe. Gerson Ezequiel Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Henry Omar Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Yvonne Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Jessica Cecilia Linares. José Daniel Castro. Present. Thank you. José Luis Torres. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Fuentes Cedillos. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenia Maricela Aparicio. Present. Thank you. Luis Humberto González. Present teacher. Thank you. Moisés Ernesto Figueroa. Present teacher. Thank you. Nancy Katia María. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Oscar Giovanni Menjivar. Pedro Rigoberto Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you, Sonia Maribel Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, Bermin Cristian García. Present. Thank you, David Emanuel Ardón. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, that's going to be it for tonight. Descansen, que tengan un bonito fin de semana. Los espero el lunes. Um, Luis Humberto, si se puede quedar para asesoría, por favor. Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.